right shoulder blade. It's a beautiful tattoo of a crow. And she said, look behind you. You know, there was another crow over there. And there were crows everywhere. So we're going to have some remote viewing and liveness of remote viewing right now from the land of the crows, which is located just off of Hayden Street, which is tied to the Nautilus and the Nuatal Indians. Please help me welcome to the stage, Ms. Cara Vida. <laughs> Sometime NSA, cybersecurity, spies with little techno eyes. Doobie, doobie, digital do unchecked out of balance. In land of free, home of the brave, wrong place, wrong time, here, there, everywhere. You may be committing a nameless crime. Peekaboo, they're watching you. Wow! Put your hands in the air like you just don't care. Smile and wave. Look at me on the cloud, wonderful me. My selfie, look. Living the dream within the dream on Facebook. Jeepers, creepers, Where'd you get those papers? Meta data, where'd you get those goo goo googly eyes? <laughs> Can you hear a snow drinks whistle blowing? Where you at? Where you at? Everybody back on the bus. Trace, track, track, trace, trace, track, track. Stop and search, safe and sound, or relax, big brother's got our backs. Can't get lost, I'm always found. 21st century road trip. Oh, say can you see, by the dawn's early light. Next stop with all my friends, Disneyland. 21st century road trip ain't life grand. Speak uneasy, shh, I'm just saying, it's the bomb, dynamite. Yeah. 
Uh, so, yes, and all of that actually really happened the other night as well. And, uh, and a lot more. Uh, a couple of dear friends that were with us uh, that other night uh, will probably fill in the rest of the story for us a little bit later. Uh, Karen and Sal came to New Orleans just a couple of months ago, and uh, man, they were all over the place running around with the Mardi Gras Indians, and Sal fit right in with them. I think he's going to start his sewing practice this next week and, uh, and get up down back there for Carnival this next year. I think they're going to come a little bit before. Uh, please help me welcome to the stage. I am hoping Sonny. Lynn and Micah are here, yeah? Is that Lorca? Yeah. All right, bring Lorca up here too. Mr. Micah, y'all come up. They just got in, they were, he, uh, Micah just did this beautiful wedding ceremony for a friend of his. You know, they got married this weekend and they just came back today. Please help me welcome to the stage, Micah. Born, uh, titled A Red Light on History for Derek Finner. We would name you Light Bearer, not Dark Majesty, born an entity found in children, a star sequence standing alone in the tides, Carthage, Rome, Sicily, the imprint caught in the stones, not on them. Even the words turn inadequate, a bribe of transparencies not to be taken lightly. No need to wonder why or how. We are all active stones, keyed to a new tension. Nothing but the choice of spoke in my skipping patroller. Here's to your variance and mine. Freedom, good cheer, and confusion owned as passage. I paced the floors, then watched the doors open on arrival. The books were mostly devoted to the French, but never overstepping Egypt. What did they give me? Now I am young and animated and valiant, all that time escaping technology. Extraneous matters, a part played before, a part that keeps playing, with the ability to speak casually, with or without being sincere. Send them the messages I'm told, and work together to remember the hours, making the frequencies, and undoing them as they occur. How could anything so simple turn so complex on attempt at communication? More patience, I'm told. More patience. If I take another, how long will it last? I prefer the immediate to the time release, but I'm thankful for both. Leave them or nail them in. Either side cannot add or take away. Both exercise the other. I laugh that I must exercise and follow the corridors to my bed. The bag is all stems and true to its variants. Are you mad? A little flame said to generate remembrance. I am not. I am not. I am not. I cannot remember their names. I'll let Octavius take my place. And it is he who answers when they call. Drink your cognac and eat this, he says. Then undress onto the floor. Onto it, not onto. Onto, I chalk a circle and sit in the middle. Hints and pauses, strange traffic waiting to begin. Read the songs, I'm told. Resort to the old pictures. Nothing works the matter except itself. I write it out, then write it over until it becomes clear. The why and the why and the why and the why. An epic poem? Unquestionably not. I feel more like an actor or preacher, not your token poet or highway astrologer. Forgive me. I have mixed my metaphors again. Did not know that I must keep faith with something. I called it writing. Ride or die. The ancient vows to lie alone against the predictable with its crippling advances. As far as what as where. Give me everything and the details ad infinitum. Those type of demands never primary to the call. I hate this talk, self-qualification after a day's work. Is that living? or consequence of making one? Back off, but don't back down, he says. Trace it in the mind, 
watch it clog the veins. It is an ordinary tree of no origin, immaterial nonsense received from amateur dabbling. This is not, no, wait, okay, yes, I think so, well, maybe, not now type of conformity. Spare me the antipathy of the fixed and determined. Better the ignorance, all mine, than chart someone else's. We do have some power between us, a natural attraction, which is no easy trick, even for the experienced stranger. This was always the talk of others. I am of them, but prefer an alternate route what it's like, not what it is. The hands invite the hands, the deltas follow the delta, both flood the terrain, watch them rush, appeasement is witnessed and the achievement felt, hunger commanding hunger, always a way of waiting, always more time until it's over. Thank you, Micah. Please help me welcome to the stage. Also, I uh, want to mention, you know, for those of you who came in a little bit late, we have one uh, set of poetry, and then we have a beautiful set of jazz uh, in between, and we have a, third, a second set of poetry that will follow that. And uh, in between that, we have something very sweet to give out and uh, help us join the voice in the hand and sing a very special song. Please help me welcome to the stage, editor and publisher, one of the editors and publishers of Out of R, and a wonderful poet. And also, I saw down in New Orleans uh, just a, a few months ago, so I hope to have them back soon. Please help me welcome to the stage, poet Sarah Page. Zombies, fascists, and butterflies. I dream about zombies. They come out at night after their TV shows. They drink a lot of beer, too, which makes it easier for them to be controlled by the fascists. I'm not supposed to know this. The zombies think I'm uppity and rude if I mention it, and I'm wanted by the fascists for these thought crimes. The fascists came for me and some children I was caring for in a zombie dream. It was kind of scary and we didn't want them to take us away, which was a thought crime in itself. But then, a million white butterflies appeared in the sky. The youngest child pointed them out. The fascists looked at them in awe and ran away. It was a beautiful sight, all those butterflies appearing and scaring the fascists away. <laughs> Tree says, Tree says stop, says look at me, says stand still, up straight, says tall, says now, says yes, says more, says breathe. Tree says, let your hair down, says laugh, says sway, says do not cut me down. Tree says, it is not your place to know the things the trees know. That's why only the trees know them. Tree says, Everything is wind. And this is a poem for Juan Miro's The Flight of a Bird Over the Plain, number three, a beautiful painting. The bird is like me. The bird becomes me. I fly through the hole in the sky that is blue and leave the brown field behind. I leave my human body behind. 
leave science behind. I carry with me a string of eggs. They are black and white like science. I will bring them home to multiply. Red makes it real, makes it bleed. I become the bird, become free. Life is an incomplete sentence. Thank you. Y'all put your hands together one more time for Sarah. <laughs> and, uh, all the folks that are uh, participating here today, the poets, we're going to uh, put out a wonderful center uh, of uh, celebration of households one at One Shot Magazine. And uh, so that'll be uh, coming up just after in, in the, the early part of the summer, probably around the solstice. So. Um, check the Beat Museum or whatever, we'll probably be floating down the street. So, definitely, and we'll send out an announcement for that too. It'll certainly be here at the Emerald Tablet. Please help me welcome to the stage a uh, really fantastic boy, yeah, editor, publisher of Punk Hostage Press, along with Iris Berry. And uh, Race is going to be getting down there. I know he's going to come, he was going to come to New Orleans. Um, I've had the dear pleasure of reading his works. I'm a big fan and he does so much for the work of poetry in the community here in San Francisco and Oakland. Please help me welcome to this stage, Razor. Yeah. Uh, thanks, David. Thanks for having me out here. had some experience with phallic objects in my life. So. <laughs> it's not a strange um, Yeah, I was just uh, trying to pick out what to read before. And this has kind of been in the news and been heavy. This is something I wrote a while ago, but um, pertains. <laughs> <laughs> 